Welcome back to Ragarasika, a podcast program that explores the world of Carnatic music. We are joined once again by Vidya from Albany, New York. Just like any other performing art, Carnatic music, especially if you're planning to perform it, takes several years of learning and practice. As you advance in your skills, your guru or your teacher has a profound impact on you. And in Carnatic music, actually the guru has a very special and almost sacred place in your life. So let's talk about your guru. On your website Vidya, you mention Lalgudi J Raman as your guru. Tell us a little bit more about uh, Lalgudi Vidya. My guru Padma Bhushan Lalgudi Shri J J Raman is one of India's most renowned classical musicians. I would rate him as a complete musician. He's not only an internationally acclaimed violinist, but he's also a vocalist, a composer whose compositions reflect a very unique style and he's also an extraordinarily gifted teacher. Now, a couple of things here. The word Lalgudi in Lalgudi Jeraman is actually a name of a town in Tamil Nadu. In general, I find this quite common amongst Carnatic musicians. you typically include the name of the town you're from in your name several examples come to my mind chambai vaidyanatha bhagavathar samangudi shrinivas ayyar tiruvarur batsavatsalam and so on yeah it's common to associate the name with the name of the town and i think it's not just restricted to musicians but in the previous generations particularly the first initial of the name would be denoting the town that you come from and the second initial would be your father's first name followed by your given name and then they have the caste or community name at the end after your given name so that's the way the south indian names uh, especially in the state of tamil nadu were uh, designated and lalgudi is certainly um, the name of his town and it's near um, it's a small village near the city of trichy in uh, the state of tamil nadu okay so now vidya tell us how you got to know lalgudi and how he became your guru when i was 12 i had the privilege of learning under lalgudi jayaraman when a workshop was conducted by him where he trained about a dozen youngsters on different aspects of carnatic music it was a short term four month workshop that's how i got introduced to him and i was just so fascinated by the depth and breadth of his knowledge that i really wanted to take advanced lessons from him at that point he was also a very busy performer and our family friend umayalpuram shivaraman who is a renowned bridangam player uh, introduced us to lalgudi jayaraman and my lessons began under him in 1993 till today i am honored and privileged to call him as my guru and teacher and i'm always indebted to him for everything that he has done you know with you when i was researching on the internet for this segment i was listening to several pieces of lalgudi and there's something special in the way he plays his violin it, it's it's difficult to describe it but there's a certain elegance a certain surreal nature to it in a way he kind of makes it appear as though his violin is actually singing and you could almost hear the lyrics of the song and i'm sure there's more to it anyway i found this quite unique compared to other instrumentalists so tell us about this what is what is what am i hearing here what is special what is unique here he his unique technique is known as the lalgudi bani bani is a term we use in carnatic music for a school 
when i talk about lalgudi bani the main features would be the concept of innovation within the boundaries of tradition he has a rhythmic and melodic mastery in his style and since lalgudi mama as we call him um gained invaluable experience by accompanying leading musicians such as semengudi shrinivas ayer g n balasubramaniam uh, ariyakudi ramanuja ayengar alathur brothers and so on so he has gained his experience by accompanying all these masters and therefore all those unique features of their performance techniques have also contributed to the lalgudi bani another important aspect i would say would be the closeness to the vocal style of rendition a lot of violin players adopt more instrumental sounding techniques where they focus on speed and other instrumental techniques whereas lalgudi mama style the lalgudi bani focuses more on the um, singing techniques so the glides and curves and shakes are made to resemble the voice as closely as possible really fascinating actually let's play a snippet for the audience there's this piece that i found on the internet that was particularly touching to me personally this is a composition of tyagaraja called marugelara o raghava first i found the lyrics of this song really filled with passion tyagaraja who is a very pious devotee of lord rama is asking him in this song marugelara which essentially means how can you forget me o raghava or o rama how can you forget me it's a really touching song you should check it out and read the meaning of its lyrics before we get to lalgudi and how lalgudi plays this passion filled song on his violin let's first listen to the vocal rendition of this song so that you get an idea of how the song is set to music when you listen to this uh, please pay special attention to the words o raghava because that's something we'll come back to maru gelara o raghava maru gelara o raghava maru gelara o raghava maru gelara o raghava maru gelara o Now let's play uh, the lalgudi version of this song. Once again, uh, uh, listen to the sangatis for O Raghava. I found it quite mystical and heavenly. Thank you. 
So that's a snippet of Lal Gudi Bani for you. There's a lot we can cover on this topic, but you should really experience it yourself. So check out other pieces of Lal Gudi on the internet. Vidya, I guess the tradition of Lal Gudi and Lal Gudi Bani continues on even now, right? His children, for example, are also very renowned musicians themselves. Yes, um, his son Lalgudi GJR Krishnan and his daughter Lalgudi Vijay Lakshmi are torch bearers of the Lalgudi Bani today. You can learn more about the Lalgudi Bani and Lalgudi Mama's accomplishments at their website at www.lalgudi.org. That is spelled as L A L G U D I. Thanks, Vidya. That's all the time we have today. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Ragarasika. Visit us online at www.ragarasika.com. That's R A A G A R A S I K A dot com. To learn more about Vidya, visit her online at www.vidyasubramanian.com. Please join us next time. Till then, goodbye.